Tuvalu. Tuvalu. So tu, Tuvalu, Tuvalu. Tovalu. Or Tuvalu. Which one do you think is the correct of this place? The correct yeah. pronunciation. Dude, I thought it was Tuvalu, the pop star. Forever. Okay, so Tuvalu. What, well, no, your... I don't think that that's the name of the <laughs> No, country. that's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Tuvalu? Is that what you said? I don't know. I think that's how the pop star says it. Oh, Tuvalu. <laughs> so, Tuvalu. So, it, yeah, I, 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 oh, I always. How do you spell it? T U V A L U. Uh, okay. So, I always thought it was Tuvalu, but it's. Tuvalu. Okay. Tuvalu. 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 So today, that's where we're going, Tuvalu. Nice. I feel like recently, some of the places we've been to, we've, we've gone to some bigger places, we've branched out. We haven't had a lot of places that are like the record holders, the places that have had, you know, the smallest, the least visited, the whatever. Mm-hmm. And Tuvalu, I think it's going to check a lot of boxes as far okay. as uh, <laughs> I mean, top of the list for... Certain things. I mean, do you guys know where it is? No. I mean, you said like, <laughs> knew where it was. <laughs> I, I, I always thought it was Tuvalu. We're, we're just like, getting okay, into the pronunciation. I've never heard of this country. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to take a wild guess, where's your where's your guess? Uh, Tuvalu. It sounds somewhere like Ethiopia, Africa, or something like. that. Okay, so your guess is Ethiopia. What? <laughs> yeah, I, feel, I, I asked. Ethiopia. I asked earlier, but yeah, Oceania. Yeah, you know, somewhere. I feel like. I, I know what the hell's going on in one of the places over there in the world. So Yeah, and I think, so it is in Oceania. It is a, an island or a chain of islands. We're going to see a lot of similarities to episode one, Nauru. Shout out to our first <laughs> Country Boy episode, but long, we'll definitely see long-term some. Long-term listeners. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we love for, you. For the OGs. We love you, long-term OG. listeners. <laughs> Sean. Sean. For Sean. For Sean. Champagne, where this you This one's are. for you. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see some similarities, but this is, I guess, our third Oceania country that we've been to. So three out of 14. So we're, we're, we're making some progress down in the South Pacific over here. What was uh, number two? Number two was Kerry Boss. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I think we'll see some yeah, yeah. similarities with Kerry Boss as well. All right. So let's go through the rundown. So the capital, this might be the most, I don't know, the coolest capital name, but it's Funafuti. And it has fun in the name of the capital. So Funafuti. So pretty fun thing to say. Pretty Definitely. definitely. Pretty fun. Fun Fetty? Tongue twister. I love cupcakes with fun Fetty, man. I think we all do. How big do you think this is, if you had to guess? My guess is not very big. If it's in Oceania. Oceania? Sure, that. uh, (laughs) 14 square kilometers. Mm. Pretty close. (laughs) Am I? (laughs) Not too far off. Uh, one square kilometer, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, man, <laughs> I, I think you guys are technically tied for this country boy question off, but it's 26 <laughs> square kilometers, which is about 10 square miles. I'm not tied. <laughs> yeah, he no, won. Right. No, no, but you, he got the pronunciation. You got the... Uh, or, uh, no, no, no. Uh, he got yeah. the continent. Yeah, you one. got the... Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. So it's actually the smallest UN-recognized country... Slightly smaller than Nauru by population. I think Nauru was like 12,000. This place is 11,000. So they're pretty close. But if you include their sea land, it's like like a million or not a million, but like like a quarter of a million square miles. If they were merfolk, yeah. <laughs> they would have a shitload of land. Yeah. If this were Waterworld, they would rule. If they were uh, Kevin Costner with the gills. With the gills. <laughs> Um, they rule that shit. It's like Namor. So, know. as we said, smallest population, aside from Vatican, which isn't like a UN right. recognized, but if you take away the Vatican, this is the smallest. So, 11,000 people. I mean, there's 11,000 people in, you know, half a square mile over here. <laughs> um, Definitely. So, yeah, that's pretty crazy to think about. About half of them all live on Funafuti Atoll, so the main atoll. Okay. So there's, I, I briefly said it, but there's basically nine islands that make up this country. So there's six atolls and three islands, apparently. Um, <laughs> but they extend a pretty far range. So if you're at the main one, it's I think it's kind of centralized. But if you're going out to some of the outer islands, which might have like 40 people living in, on right, there, right. Um, you got to go a pretty good distance, so. 
like take a while to get to probably have to take a boat to get there. Yeah. And so actually to get around, I think it's like, you basically have to hitch a ride on shipping vessels to get to these outer oh, rim okay. islands. So pretty remote. Even just going to this place. Oh, yeah. And that was the other thing is I think this is the debatable least visited place. Another another uh, <laughs> thing we can check off the list. We had said Nauru. I think it's it's debatable between here and Nauru as far as least visited in the world because Nauru gets – I think Nauru is technically more. This place has 2,000, but – 2,000 what? Visitors. Per year? Per year. Uh, Nauru, I think it was like a couple hundred, but I guess Nauru has, um, there were like refugees or something. I I can't remember exactly what the situation was. Yeah. Um, but debatably least visited. We'll just say, Hey, for this, just to give it another checkbox, we'll say least visited. (laughs) Least visited. What about versus Moldova? How does they factor? I know that. Oh, so way less than Moldova. Really? Yeah. I've. Don't remember what Moldova was. Moldova still had some, but that was the least visited in Europe. Right, right, yeah. But I just wonder how it how it compared to yeah. to those. So. It's bring up super the- remote, super uh, bring up a graphic. hard to get to. So you you really got to go out of your way. Where Moldova, I mean, you could be in Romania and sure. walk over to Moldova yeah. if you wanted. Language, they speak English, like most uh, Pacific islands, but they also speak Tuvaluan which is, I guess, their own local language, which I guess it's similar to Samoan or Tongan. Oh, okay. Right. Um, if you can speak Samoan, you can understand Tuvaluan. Yeah, no, I, I think mean, it's, probably. it's... Oh, really? It's I that know. similar. I, just, yeah. I assume. I did, see, I did see somebody mention that where... <laughs> I think... Kind of like Portuguese to uh, I think it's even probably Spanish. closer. It's probably like... Yeah. Castilian Italian. Spanish to Mexican Spanish, where it's, it's basically intelligible from one to the other all right so physically we said it's an atoll mm. super flat in the in the pacific ocean so by land mass so we said it by population it's debatably the smallest by land mass it's the fourth smallest so we vatican which we haven't gone to is the smallest monaco second monaco. smallest mm-hmm. Nauru. Nar- Nauru is smaller by land um, but not by much. And then this place is ranks in number four. So pretty tiny. Yeah, that's pretty small. And if you go there, so there's basically like one hotel, there's Damn. some guest houses you can rent out, but really you almost think, no infrastructure. You think Airbnb has a presence there? <laughs> I would be surprised. I think we could dominate it if we opened up some Airbnbs. Well, we there. can do that. We it's can do that. bring our Western capitalism. <laughs> yeah, it's powerful. It, it's it's pretty crazy with this place though. Rent. Where, <laughs> and, and maybe this is how Nauru and Kiribati were, but I think I just got a better sense maybe of just kind of how like remote it is, just how undeveloped it is. But this place, I think it was considered the least developed country so hey another thing off the list number one number (laughs) one yeah they're number one in a lot but um yeah least developed country that's as far as like like structures that they have like i I think it's one three-story building that's like the skyscraper there really (laughs) so it feels like santa fe right like there's like not a building up but Way shittier, I'm sure. But yeah. there's nothing tall in Santa Fe. It's oh, kind no. of like right, right. I think that it is like this three story limit. Is like you like they oh, just really? yeah. So it's kind of cool. But yeah, I didn't know that about Santa Fe. Okay. Um, but yeah, so while you're there, or if you're there walking around, you want to see some cool buildings. Probably not the place to go. But I think a lot of them. It's, just, it's basically like open air structures. Right. That makes sense. Like with uh, courtyards and stuff. But like there's that. really not a whole lot of like, it, it, I mean. Well, what's the climate? I mean, is it hot? Yeah, Obviously. it's hot, yeah, tropical. It's hot, so, yeah. And if there's no infrastructure, that makes sense to have open air stuff because yeah. you don't have tons of air conditioning, right? Yeah. So And I think it's too, it's just kind of a lot of, it's a lot of like traditional things. So like traditional buildings, but um but yeah, not a, like as far as developed where it's like, oh, I want my 
my Starbucks where I can connect to Wi Fi and right, right, do that. Right, right. You're, you're not going to do that right. here. I want my MTV for my <laughs> teen <laughs> pregnancy. My for my too. teen pregnancy <laughs> fix. I need yeah. it. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen uh, Jersey Shore in two days. <laughs> I need to go watch it. Jersey Shore reunion. <laughs> it's you, back. Maybe if you had like a. Like a personal satellite you could travel with. You could maybe get some reception here, but some James Bond shit. Won't yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty bare bones as far as, I don't know, just what they have. I mean, they're still like houses and structures. I mean, it, right, it's still right, a country. So, right. But yeah, you're uh, a little off the grid, we'll say, compared to most places. So far, checking off some boxes for me. Huh. You don't want to be on the grid? No. Not for, I mean, if I want to go somewhere. Not all the time. Sure, I understand. I yeah. feel that. Yeah. 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 And I think with this one, maybe it's a little, maybe a little too off the grid, but I don't know. We'll, we'll get to that at the end. So, so we already said if you want to get around between the different atolls, if you want to go to the outside ones, the closer ones that are close to Funafuti, which has the only airport, that's the only place you can fly into, right. you can take a ride. They have, I guess smaller boats that can get to the closer ones, or they have these shipping vessels if you want to get to the outer ones. So you're just going to hop on a shipping container? Basically. Like, hey, is it like a taxi? Like, you got to pay them? I think you do have to pay them, but you're basically just riding on It's their, already like, going there. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. There's no, uh, like, tourism boat that's like, hey, I want to go to yeah, this yeah, island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, ri- you're hitching a ride with... For somebody that actually needs to go there for a real reason. Yeah. Yeah. It's not sightseeing. I, I do feel like in my mind, anyways, with all these islands, just like conjures up images like Jurassic Park, you know, of like these remote islands and that's it. Of like, yeah, people go there and it's a normal route, but for like mm-hmm. commercial trade, not for like commercial tourism. Like, right. it's a thing there, but it like rides in the back of something else. Right? Yeah. Of, like, yeah. And w- especially with this place where there's zero like infrastructure, zero, I mean, just being there, they don't even expect tourists. It's just kind of like, like if you're, if you're, you not must. from there and you go there it's kind of like oh you're here from like the UN to do like you know some sort of uh, right, survey <laughs> like either either like surveying or you're yeah, there to like yeah. drop off supplies to the people right. or it's that remote where you're you're not expected to like some of the videos I saw of people visiting there that are just like wait you're here as a tourist <laughs> like you came here like the locals are just kind of like it's like a record stopping country like <laughs> yeah <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah so um, and then just last thing with the physical, we already said it's flat, but the highest elevation between all nine of the islands is about 15 feet. So, yeah, that's like, that's like walking upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit higher than the ceiling. Um, that so is crazy. What, one of the issues, though. It's not I, a dune, you know. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not even a dune. It's like, it's just like a little bit of dirt. Like, yeah, like a little rock. They moved, they moved the, some of the dirt out of the way to build the next... Yeah. <laughs> because it's so flat though we had talked about this with with Kerry boss which is similar um but basically two out of the nine islands are like super imminent like they're gonna be sunken probably within the next couple years oh no shit damn and then the whole country long. is there anybody on those islands there are but some of them it's like 40 people maybe 100 people like on the entire right 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 island like the whole rim and everything I think those are the two most remote, but um, the whole country, like all nine of them, are still um, just facing threats of like disappearing. So that's like a big issue for the people here is like being displaced or uh, having to relocate at some point, which that's could be a reality. Yeah. Going into the history, so he said it's close to Samoan and Tongan as far as uh, the people there, but. I saw something where it was maybe settled by Samoans and Tongans in like the 14th century. So it was probably in, in uninhabited for a while. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. um, eventually once they got the Samoans or Tongans got over there, it was like for Europeans discovered around like late 1500s by the Spanish originally. And then at some point it became a British like British colony, else. like everywhere else. Like everything else. So tricky. <laughs> um, it used to be called the Ellis Islands. Not okay. like <laughs> not like Ellis Island here. Ellis. Oh, I thought, thought it was totally named after Ellis Island. E-L-L-I-C-E. So like Elice. Okay. Um, but yeah. Pronounced Ellis. 
but yeah, so it was under the British rule for a while. They still uh, kind of like recognize like the British royalty is like their uh, sovereign uh, leaders, figureheads. Oh, better, better word. Uh, did, did they celebrate celebrate the coronation of the new king kind of thing? Like, probably kind of like that. If if they, I mean, if I feel like they're they so remote. But they recognize it kind of yeah. like Australia I mean, recognizes. They're them. watching. With the Queen's Jubilee on BBC, right? You know? <laughs> yeah, that might be the only channel that they have. <laughs> yeah, probably. The BBC. Yeah, yeah. Um, BBC one through five. <laughs> <laughs> so they actually, it, it was under the rule of the UK until 1978. So pretty recent. Damn. And then yeah. their flag still has the Union Jack. So it's basically the Union Jack with nine stars, which represent the nine islands. Uh-huh. Um, so yeah, they're they're. Pretty tied in with the UK, right, or at least right. where. Um, Is that why they speak English mostly? Yeah, yeah. And, and is it a British English? Do they the, have the accents? The King's English. I think it's more like Australian sounding. Oh yeah. Right? Oh, okay. Um, I mean, same as <laughs> yeah. ish, ish. ish. Yeah. More hey, convict. All sounds the same to me if it's not American. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't sound like freedom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I meant closer to England or whatever. Like hey, yeah. Australia's an English. Yeah, it's close. closer to Australian. Sound like a country version of English, right? Like a, yeah. Oh, and, I, yeah. and which basically what they are, right? Um, <laughs> it was so in World War Two. Also, these. The chain of islands, it was like a big uh, stopping off point or kind of like they had some bases there. Oh, okay. Um, the English, the U.S. So it was kind of a big, I, th- I think a lot of these South Pacific islands, but yeah, there's still like old ships and old wreck sites. I guess uh, okay. Funafuti maybe had some like bombings. Like basically when they were fighting the Japanese, this area was kind of, um, you know, that sounded like places to go. As we slowly turn into our fathers, we all love World War II memorabilia. And yeah. 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 It, it's Some of it's cool, but it's not... I don't think... I think there's other places in the South Pacific that probably have more. It this place has, is. like... Some of the remote islands might have some ships or right. whatever, but... Um, one of the things, at least for getting there... I think there's two flights that go, like, once a week, every, like, ten days... So if you're going to fly in there, you really got to plan it out. So it's like one day a week, let's say, from Fiji, that you're actually going to be on a mm-hmm. plane that could go here. You, you, you really got to think. And then well, you once you get there, days. there's one hotel, maybe some guest houses, but you really got to uh, you got to do some planning before you plan your trip to Tuvalu. Well, I'm not a planner, so. No. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't wing it here. I'm a winger. <laughs> um, all right, so culturally... We're going to make another comparison, but it's cash only, no ATMs, no strip clubs, so no bars. True. There's maybe a couple that camera on me. A couple <laughs> little bars, but um, yeah. come on. you basically got to go here with all the cash that you're going to plan on spending. What do they pounds? Yeah, what do they use? The Australian dollar. Oh, okay. And they, I guess they have a Tuvalu, t- Tuvaluan dollar that's... It's like one to one, so it's basically the same, but it's only there. But um, yeah, they take the Australian dollar, but yeah, no, no credit cards, no ATMs, no strip clubs. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> kind of makes you rethink. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so one kind of cool thing that they do have here, and I don't know if this is like across Polynesia or if it's just here, but they have this thing. I think it's Saitania, Saitania. It's basically a policy that they have where you can adopt a sibling just by asking. It's like a word of mouth handshake where you can become brothers with somebody just by being like, hey, you want to be bros? All right, handshake. And then you're like, that's your brother. You can extend your family just by requesting. I mean, is it like a serious thing? Yeah. Or do and, they just do it all the time? Like, hey. No, like- no. I mean, you only do it, I think, if you're serious <laughs> about it. I don't think you're just... <laughs> I mean, just like, trying to whore yourself out to every family <laughs> here, but uh, well, I mean, as kids, that's kind of what we yeah, do. Well, I mean, you probably, I, I don't know if there's an age limit or whatever, but basically, you can become like a formal family member, like, and and they rec- everyone recognizes like that's your brother, right? I mean, you weren't like that to some other family, like, did you walk? Oh yeah, in? no, I was I, gonna say yeah, like there were uh, definitely those friends that could yeah, just walk up yeah. in your house, like I don't, you could be eating dinner and definitely, be like, definitely, oh, you're cool, yeah. But I think this is on another level because they're 
so interconnected and but that makes sense though because like all these islands like they're definitely related in some way so it's super easy to be like hey you're cool you're part of my like thing now yeah so, and, like everyone kind of knows like but i think just do a ceremony there's like slit cuts like blood brothers, blood brothers type thing. things i yeah. think i think it's just if you both just agree up, like, and then you just shake. i guess tell everyone <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's just well, kind people of people are always like, "Oh, it's my cousin," or like I, my friends, family friends. They always say, "Oh, it's my uncle John," but he's just like they weren't yeah, related. Yeah, they were just oh, like yeah, friends yeah. from back in the day. But it's they've been like called him with uncle. I, I think this is like that, and yeah, but I think more, more. We intense. have the same, but it's like you're always like, "Oh, it's not really my cousin." Like this is like, right, "No, right. that's my cousin." Like it becomes official huh. once Damn. you both agree on it. Interesting. It's, um, Do you now share the same last name? <laughs> no, I think it's. <laughs> you hyphenate. You hyphenate. <laughs> it's very complicated. It's though. not marriage, but uh, <laughs> it's it's close. But yeah, I think it's like a lifelong pact that once everyone knows, then you know. How many people have to know? And I like that they're like, no, we're friends for fucking life. <laughs> like, hey, look. I'm curious about the details here. <laughs> I don't know, but I think we have to go there and can oh, we yeah. go there and become brothers? <laughs> and we have to go there and really? find a a fifth or sixth country boy that uh, right becomes our brother. Uh, when the internet became big, so like around 2000, I guess every country got their own like domain, like dot. CA is Canada, dot, right. IT is Italy. Because of their name, Tuvalu, they got dot TV. Oh, so shit. it was super Damn. sought after, but I guess by whoever licenses these domains, domains <laughs> gives that to tu- Tuvalu. Keep wanting to say Tuvalu. Um, <laughs> but it gives it to them, and they basically cashed in on it. So it was like $50 million for 12 years, and they just renewed it. Um, so basically, if you want to register, so if we got countryboys.tv, we would have to register it through Tuvalu. No and shit. And they, wow. they get the money. That's awesome. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I've definitely seen some .tv websites. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. If, if you're like NBC.tv or anything, I mean. But I kind of want to support them now. So yeah. it's kind of cool. Maybe you we need to get I mean? that domain. Like country countryboys.tv.tv. Dot TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. No. I own um, newstruthnews.news. You know, so. dot news. <laughs> dot news. Yeah, you can get dot news. <laughs> and I own a bunch of them, like new truth news. Dot, dot news. news. I remember yeah, it's when like the new Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not, I definitely I was like, like one of my ideas. It I'm sounds like on. some shit like that. It definitely yeah, sounds like, yeah, yeah, like a mini Network. Rupert Murdoch. <laughs> 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 Yeah, maybe uh, like total propaganda, but I'm rich as fuck. <laughs> I, I just remember to make people believe yeah. it. There used to just be like four. It was dot org dot com right. Dot net. Dot net. And then... Yeah, it was com and net. I feel like those were the hot ones. What, what was what, was there like a uh, like a Org. university one? Edu. Dot edu. edu. Yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. Edu. Every university was dot edu. And yeah. nonprofits had like something, right? But it was those four for a while. And now you can do like... Dot org. Yeah, yeah dot, anyway. did we say that already? Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah so. Org net com edu. I feel like recently there's just been a lot more. But dot TV, I mean, that's a pretty good one to have for... Yeah, uh, yeah. If they didn't have that, honestly, like probably wouldn't have anything. <laughs> uh, props their whole fucking economy. Up. Yeah, Bro, it really does. It's, it's like one of the main things in their economy is having this yeah. luck of the draw dot TV. You have any idea like what they have to pay? Like what what do people have to pay to get dot TV? I don't know what you pay, but um, I know they got like installments of like. Could you 50 imagine? million and then 50 million or something. But well, they got installments um, of 50 million. I thought you said they had to pay 50 million. No, no. And, and so actually how they got into the, the United Nations is basically because of this money they got from .TV. This country is in the United Nations? Yeah. They, they, <laughs> you have to basically bid to get into the UN. Right. And total cash grab. I had no fucking <laughs> idea. Changes everything. Yeah. What? Yeah. You're crazy. How? No <laughs> way. <laughs> So he said it's super close knit. Like, <laughs> just everybody here, it's super communal. So, like, if you go fishing and you catch a fish, you bring it back, and it's like just accepted. Shit. Like, everyone's yeah. just gonna dig in. It's not even like a question of like, oh, this is my fish. It's just everything here is communal. Even like how they raise kids. And oh yeah, one of the things with like the sibling, adopted sibling that you can have, or you know, someone becoming your brother, you basically like move in together, share a dwelling and raise each other's kids too that's like mm. okay that's part of the uh the pack but that's what everyone does here especially on the 
outer atolls is just kind of like not even a question. Everybody eats whatever everybody has. Everybody shares every, everything <coughs> with the food and drink. Fish. Fish, coconuts, breadfruit. Um, what is just like all these other places, they import a lot of things. So, you know. What is breadfruit? Canned food. <laughs> Um, it's just like a, like a starchy tropical fruit, I guess. Mm, starch. But yeah, food honestly doesn't look great. If, if I'm going to be honest, just from some of the, the things that I saw there, not a, not a culinary capital by any means. Pineapple and fish. Sorry. Could be worse. Yeah. I mean, you can get fresh fish and stuff Unlike, I think we said in Nauru where they had the jagged coral reef. This place doesn't have to deal with that, and it's right, spread out. Right. So, so there's not a whole lot of right, restaurants. Right. A lot of the restaurants are only open. I mean, they're not catering to, to tourism, and a lot of people just don't eat out. It's like you're not going to find any restaurants open like late. Um, I was trying to look up for, for nightlife, <laughs> and one of the things that came up, like there was nothing. And one of the things that came up, it was like every fortnight there's like a – Basically, like a sock hop, so like a dance. It's like <laughs> a sock hop. So, like every two weeks, you might be able to go to a kind of like a social thing. Social thing. <laughs> so, hey, if you're if you're if you want to be out late partying at the clubs, not not happening here. <laughs> what does sock hop actually mean? I think it was just like the fifty. It's like a dance. Is like it a, just? It, is, it doesn't stand for anything. I think you had your socks on. <laughs> Some and you were like other twists. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, I, I, I think curious. yeah. It, it is was it short for something. It, no, it has to do with your socks. Yeah, because you'd go into the sock high school hop. gymnasium with your socks on, so you wouldn't scuff up. And you the, could, you could. I think you can twist. You could twist better. You know, like uh, you can twist easier without your shoes on. You know, I did not know because whether or not like it was last, that you know, we twist again like we did last summer. You know what I mean? So and in the like, summertime, it's hot, so you're probably not wearing sweating shoes. more. Yeah, God. so you move easier in the gym floor. I did not know it was that. Literal. And there's hopping. I mean, I think there's hopping. There's <laughs> twisting and hopping. It's a little bit of misconception. <laughs> Either y'all are making this shit up. Or no, 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 no. It, it no. really it's from the '50s. It's no, like it's uh, totally. <laughs> There was no malts. Idea. There was malts and milkshakes. Yeah, and, and your you best know, girl sodas, going steady. Best girl, yeah, and <laughs> maybe a knife fight or who fucking yeah. knows. I don't know. If you if you took some other guy's girl and went steady with her, then there's definitely a knife fight. Or <laughs> like that Beach Boy song, like you know, you like drag race. You know, like you talk too much <laughs> yeah. shit and like you might die. You just want to go home with your baby and like Dead Man's Cliff and you know, yeah. a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, so the activities, again, not a whole lot, but. One of the main things, and this is what everybody does. So you might not be out at the club late night, but if you want to hang out, maybe not too late, but basically the runway, the one runway on the island, on the main island of um, Funafuti, the runway, because they only get like two, one to two airplanes that actually use the runway a Mm. week, the runway is like the social area. So everybody hangs out in the runway. So there's like... (laughs) uh, volleyball pick up soccer like just socialize like you can ride mopeds up and down the runway street everybody hangs out in the runway that's the place to hang out after the sock hop you drag race (laughs) that's the sock hop drag race mopeds no you you sock hop on the runway Uh, there's no gymnasium it's the runway is your sock hop that makes sense venue um but yeah so it's it's literally like every day you go to the runway you party at the runway, you play games at the runway. Everyone's hanging out at the runway. They have this sport, it's called... Uh, runway? <laughs> yeah. Run away. It's different, it's different than that. Run away on the runway. <laughs> yeah. Teano, which is kind of like uh, volleyball, but you basically just keep a ball up in the air. But it's like a version of volleyball, but it's like 10 on 10, and you kind of like hit it up, and then I think if you want to hit it to the other team, you have to backhand it. Hmm. I don't understand the rules, but it's pretty much just like volleyball without a net. Same kind of ball type bounce type. Ball. No, the the ball. I want to say the ball was like, like handmade or something. Like just oh, shit. whatever. Yeah. Um. But so that got me thinking. If you're hanging out on this runway, you're there. You're probably gonna get bored playing the same games, doing the same thing. But like this game, Teano, it's a made up version of volleyball. Did you guys ever have any like made up games that you used to play or like something you're like, 
not a not a you know tag or something not something that you're like sure. i'm gonna yeah, yeah take tag and make it my own yeah like one that i remember playing and this wasn't even when we were young this was like in college but there was this one morning we were basically two or three hours to kill i think it was like a sunday so like no restaurants were open so we ended up playing this game rock where like you throw a rock and everyone throws a rock and tries to get it closer to the rock but it was just like out of boredom we started playing this game and then we're like this is actually kind of fun like we should <laughs> maybe play rock again after this <laughs> but like that type of thing we're like yeah. a made up I game i definitely had some and like but i don't know that there was a, a consistently going back to it you know right. i think it was like we were stupid you play kids. It one time. Right, we were stupid like kids that. and we'd like come up with some rules in a game and like as i got older i think that became less and less because like you became more concerned with like an overreaching like well, like I don't know, sport, but like because I don't you know, other people to be able to play. It, sure, to some play some extent, it. but I would say there was a, a family game. My friends had a pool game called Pooly Ball, and it was like pool volleyball with their own like special rules of like. Yeah, but, there you go. But the the ball was like just like a beach ball, but it had, because it was an above ground pool too. Uh, it had a string attached to it, you know, so there was a string, so it wouldn't always go out of the pool. They just had to go out and get it. So there were certain rules because it had a string to it, like it. It wasn't like volleyball where, like, you know it's going to – that only has so much slack. Like yeah, tether ball? 100%. Yeah. So, yeah, just like that. Like, that was a really fun game. And mm -hmm. um, also a similar one where it was, like, a swimming tag like that where you're, like, Marco Polo. But, like, people would, like, grab your feet underwater. You know, I don't know. But, like, nothing with, like, overreaching yeah, rules. Some, yeah. and Not necessarily overreaching, but – I don't mean, uh, but, like, st like, set. Like, this is points. This is, this is like, kind of just, like, just, like, really fun stuff. Well, so when you said pool – that made me think of like, uh, like billiard pool, but we used to play a game called garage where you'd put three balls or like three or four balls in like two rows. So you'd make a garage on each side. Then you'd ro ro you'd roll the cue ball, but you'd have to hit the back wall and then park it in the garage. Oh, that's so you'd have cool. to like hit the back, but it couldn't bounce out of the lane mm -hmm. of the two things. So you had to get, basically get it in the garage without hitting the walls. That's cool. That sounds fun. That was a fun game. Yeah. That was another. Uh, we definitely had some like slop uh, pool table games too. That yeah, we would play uh, like cutthroat with our own rules and be like with three players. You know, like hey, we can't play two on two. Let's just do such and such. And I don't know. We, we used to play so another sorry. one where, and this game was actually kind of crazy. But so two players at each end of a pool table, no no cues. You were just rolling, but you could block. So it was basically just like fast. Rolling, you're trying to get it in those two pockets on the other person's side, but they could block and roll. So you're basically just blocking and rolling the whole time, but <laughs> your fingers are just getting smashed. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this like it was a hurt. dangerous game. It yeah. also sounds like working man's table hockey. You know? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> hey, no fucking, I'm pussy ass fucking We've got a table, table hockey. We like he's gonna yeah. breaking some fingers. Oh yeah, you walls. would you'd <laughs> like have some fucked up fingers after playing this game. But yeah, I feel like if. Uh, if you were hanging out on this runway, if you were in Tuvalu for too long, you would need to come up with some games here because you yeah. get bored doing the same thing. But Right, right. Um, I'm sure they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they probably have some pretty uh, pretty crazy games there. That's right? reason to go down there. Let's go find out what games yeah. we're playing. All right, so that's um, that's basically it. So what are we thinking? Where, where are we leaning on this one? Tuvalu, Tuvalu. Funfetti Island? Tuvalu. Tuvalu, right? I think we're going to Tuvalu? Tuvalu. I don't Tuvalu. know if I Tuvalu. Tuvalu. Almost like the, in that Italian words that, that put the... Yeah, it's... the second... Accented in the middle. Right. So, Tuvalu. Tuvalu. Mm, nice. Well, I will definitely go there when we buy it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're not going to go before to... I don't know. I might. <laughs> to get a I little mean, preview? You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how long was the trip to get there? So you got you got to fly to Fiji, and then you have to take one or two flights in between Fiji Islands, I think, or maybe maybe That's from the main rough. city in Fiji. But um, you you got it. I would say at least probably like what 
twenty four to thirty six hours yeah, at minimum. Be, minimum, be, yeah. minimum, because like some are reasonable is that much. Yeah, like some are developed with like a, a good infrastructure and, and lots of flights. You got to plan it out too around the one flight a week <laughs> that's going there. So right, well, and then you got to plan on staying there for ten days. Too. Sure. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do for ten days on that runway? Make some make some games up. Play some gonna, sound. sound. <laughs> You only get one sock hop maybe in that whole span. <laughs> if you're lucky. If you're lucky. <laughs> you really got to time it like the moon, sun, everything, the planets have to align for you to. Uh, so, Matt, you're not going to go, you think? Or what I'd do you think? I still go. I sure. mean, yeah. why not? It's tropical. It's islandy. Or it is, it is an island. I do feel like you'd be a rock star there because of like no one goes there. So, like. You know, like, hey, I'm Matt. I'm from, you know, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm here. I, Show I, me your games. I, I do think, though, <clears throat> if we're being, like, realistic, though, about uh, if I would go there, no, I would probably go to Samoa and Tonga, yeah, you know, or whatever. Really those other places yeah. first. Tahiti, you know, like, whatever. Yeah. And then, like, I don't know what I'm getting here that I'm not necessarily seeing in Tonga, no, you no, know, or U.S. Samoa or Guam, you know. Right. So it's like. You know, there's different history and all this, but like, okay, islands, diving. Right. Right. You know. So if it's hard to get there, I think that is the kicker, right? If like, if we have unlimited money and time and I can go anywhere, sure, I'm going to go there. But oh, yeah. like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No, I, I think I'm, I'm the same way. I'm going to, I'm going to say no, but it's a close no. I'm not, again, for like logistical reasons, I'm saying no, they right. don't have the infrastructure. I think if you're like, Hey, I want to do something at 9.30 p.m. And it's kind of like, okay, you're, you know. Guess I'm going to sleep. Yeah. So just for that, that kind of reason, just because it's not very touristed, they just don't have, hey, sometimes you want stuff. You know, you, you're like, hey, I want a snack. There's no, like, 7-Eleven here. So, right. Um, I'm going to say no, but it is kind of intriguing. I'm not, I'm on the fence. It's not an easy no. Right. But I'm intrigued. Yeah, definitely. I and I do think hanging out on that runway would be a super cool. No, yeah. I think I would never thing. forget that for the rest of my life. To be right. honest, I yeah. like some like local friends were like playing some soccer variation fucking game or dodgeball or who knows yeah. whatever. Yeah. Or like go gets play like Ghost in the Graveyard or it's yeah, like yeah. get back to the tree and there's Kick all these the rules and like you need to play at night. Like that was fun and like whatever that is and yeah, it'd be awesome. It's it cool. would be cool and yeah. yeah, just meeting people doing. Shit, like all the people are yeah, so apparently is, super, super friendly. Yeah, Everyone's say, nice. They're like accepting of you, like yeah, whatever. Yeah. No, like, everybody like I think when you're you there, like what? Jason said, it's like they love that you're there. Like you're like you came to visit us. Like everyone's super excited. So and maybe you end up with a new family. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe they accept. Get you. a new brother and should be a brother. Maybe make some badass strong kids with dense bones <laughs> and like exactly. bring them back to America. Yeah. And they're like the next and rock. They're the next you rock, know, but better. And like yeah. a better actor because <laughs> he's the not NFL very good or whatever. Like he's I'm, okay. I'm coming, yeah. He's okay. I'm trying to make me an NFL or baby. Yeah, XFL. <laughs> maybe me an XFL maybe baby. XFL, whatever. Hey, I still hey, make some money. Whatever. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> I guess we'll say no, but it's a. It's a respectable no. This is not. Right, right. We would. If this someone, isn't, uh, we would go there. It's not that we wouldn't travel there. Like, right. What, what was, what, where was like the unanimous no? I feel like there was <laughs> one that was just like a hard no. They were like, cut our hands off. <laughs> and we're like, no, nah, we don't go to countries. This isn't a hard no. Off. This is like a, eh, a soft no. Soft no, but. I Maybe one someone. day we'll settle down with you. Yeah. It's a soft no. Like, <laughs> hey, when I'm older and well, more mature. Time is limited. I don't think this place is going to be around oh, that's for true. That's too true. much right. longer. Somebody so. has to go soon. Yeah. So. It's a tap in. And we can get it at a discount, too. Country boy bank account. Yeah. All right. So that concludes Tuvalu. Where next? Where should we go to next? I don't know. South what, America? Uh, I feel like we haven't been to South America in a while. We haven't been to South America in a minute. Yeah. Let's uh, go to South America. So we went to Suriname. We, I think Guyana is the next smallest, but I think it's probably still pretty close. So maybe we do Uruguay. Sounds good. It's it's bigger than a lot of the other countries we've been to, but look, it's slim pickings in South America. There's only 13. So yeah, the population is still really low, the uh, yeah. Uruguay. So it's even though it's a bigger it country, I think it's like three and a half million. A couple million. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's really it's low. Small. It's no yeah. uh, 11,000, but. Um, yeah. We don't talk about it. It's it's I mean, pretty it's like tiny. The size of Austin. Well, a little bit bigger than Austin. That's big. All right. Well. All right. Sorry. Next one, we'll right, uh, uh, head. <laughs> we'll do Uruguay, and uh, we'll sounds good. See you there. All right. Later.